Well, for Ohm's Law and for some other experiments, we're going to be using the signal generator, which we can find up here in the window window, window <laughs> the window menu, um, signal generator. So Command 2 on the keyboard will also bring that up. Um, we can also find it uh, under here under the setup. See, the signal generator has been configured to measure output voltage and output current. So it's actually measuring those things here inside the box. And truth be told, it's actually calculating one of those. Um, anyways, so the signal generator has some controls where you can change the waveform. Uh, for Ohm's Law, we're going to use the triangle wave. You can change the amplitude. So we want to start out at 1.0 zero volts and if you ever type a number make sure that you hit the return key on the keyboard alternatively you could choose just the up and down arrows in which case you do not need to hit any keys on the keyboard okay but keep in mind that if you're ever changing a value then you should um, manually I mean you should hit return okay to register that value so here we see confirm that we're measuring output voltage and current. The sample rate is right here and it should start at 100 hertz. And that sample rate of 100 hertz means it's going to look at the light bulb or, or the resistor or whatever you're sampling 100 times every second. Okay, And for the light bulb you'll probably want to go up to 1000 hertz um, sampling at 1000 times a second. The auto means that the data, um, excuse me, the signal generator is not going to turn itself on. Automatic means it won't turn on until you actually hit start. Now my start is grayed out because I do not have an interface. I don't have an interface box connected to the computer right now. Uh, but when you hit start, the signal generator will begin. If you want to turn that off, which is recommended for the light bulb, just deselect auto and then just turn the light bulb on and then at will just click start and you'll collect data. Um, don't let the light bulb flash for 20 minutes. Uh, you can just turn it off and then when you need the light bulb again just turn the signal generator on. These up and down arrows are controlled by the step setting here. So if I have it set to 1 and go up it'll go to 2 volts and 3 volts and back down. But if I set this to point 0.1, you see this will count by point 0.1 and point 0.01. And you'll really take advantage of this during the oscilloscope lab. So now I'm counting by thousandths. Okay. Um, if you ever close that, it's not going to, whoops, it's not going to appear here in the window menu anymore. So not a good idea to close that. You have to go back into setup and double click there on the signal generator in order to bring up the signal generator window. So I don't really think that's a very nice feature, but I just wanted to show you how to get back to the signal generator if you happen to close it. If I don't close it, but just go to the graph, I can see the signal generator back there, and I see it here in the window menu. So that's the signal generator.